Hi there, my name is Delaram, and today me, Mitali, and Emma will be presenting to you our quality improvement project for the Institute for Healthcare Improvement Open School at the University of Toronto. Our project focused on determining factors contributing to patient no-shows at the Bramley Community Health Centre. Bramley Community Health Centre is part of the Welfare Community Health Services Group, which also includes a harm reduction clinic and a diabetes education program, among others. Bramley is located in Brampton, Ontario, and serves the residents of Bramley, which is an area in Brampton. It provides primary health care and has an interdisciplinary team of healthcare professionals, including registered nurses, nurse practitioners, family doctors, social workers, and more. Their priority populations include youth, seniors who are socially isolated, newcomers to Canada, and other marginalized groups, such as people who are dealing with issues of substance abuse and people who are homeless or underhoused, and others. Of course, like other healthcare offices, you can book an individual appointment in advance, but they also offer same-day appointments. However, they do not accommodate walk-ins. Uh, they offer shared appointments for clients who share common medical conditions. As mentioned, our project focused on finding what contributes to patient no-shows. And so to begin, let's first define what we mean by no-shows. No-show refers to an individual who has an appointment date and time booked. However, the individual neither cancels the appointment nor comes to the appointment. This is a very prevalent issue in our healthcare system, and it has adverse effects on the system. A few of the adverse effects of this are increased financial cost for the institution, waste of resources, and longer appointment times. Hence, it's important to recognize the reasons underlying this issue, which can help reduce no-shows and improve efficiency and accessibility to care. And now, we will be walking you through some of the past studies pertaining to reasons behind patient no-shows, which we found helpful in guiding us throughout our project. This retrospective study was done at a community health center in Chelsea, Massachusetts. The general patient population at this health center was low-income, Hispanic, and non-English speaking. This study included all scheduled appointments for people over the age of 18 between March 23, 2012 and September 4, 2012. During this time, 16.5% were no-shows. For all missed appointments, a patient services coordinator phoned the individual to find out why their appointment was missed. 79% of the patients who missed appointments were contacted, while 39% were interviewed. The most common reason for missing an appointment was because the individual forgot or because there was a miscommunication. Most no-shows were in the age range of 18 to 40, were Black or Hispanic, or had Medicaid, self-insurance, or unknown insurance. This study was a retrospective study at a Veterans Medical Center in Houston, Texas. This center serves over 76,000 veterans in the area of Southeast Texas. The study included appointments between the fiscal years of 1997 and 2008 at 10 different clinics within the health center. During this period, the mean no-show rate at these clinics was 18.8% with a standard deviation of 2.4%. Results showed that the following types of patients were more likely to be no-shows. Women, geriatric patients, people who are attending group mental health counseling, patients who were referred to a specialty clinic from local clinics. No-shows were most common on Mondays, followed by Fridays, and in the month of September. In another study, they performed open-ended interviews to learn more about the possible reasonings behind patient no-shows. This study took place in a clinic of an urban area which served an ethnically diverse group with low income. The study cohort was composed of 34 adult patients with the median age of 40 who went to this clinic. The top three reasons behind patient no-shows 
were one, an emotional barrier, which can be explained as when patients develop negative emotions during the wait time between their initial appointment booking and the actual day of their appointment. Second, patients felt disrespected by the healthcare system. This can in a way be described as patients getting frustrated at the amount of time they had to wait to get the appointment, and then again, the amount of time that they had to wait um, in the clinic, and lastly again, the amount of time that they had to wait in the actual examination room. And third, patients did not know about the repercussions of missing their appointments. And other issues pointed out by the patients included transportation and child care needs. In another study, they again looked at possible reasonings behind uh, missed appointments. They conducted telephone surveys from 218 patients who had previously missed their appointments. The top reasons, which account for more than a quarter of the patients, which is shown in the yellow colored section of the graph, include um, the fact that patients simply forgot that they had an appointment to begin with. Other more common reasons following this issue um, included personal and work-related re reasons as shown in the magenta color and also transportation issues along with other factors that were less common. Because the most prevalent reason leading to patient no-shows in the study was that they would forget that they had an appointment to begin with, the authors suggested implementing phone calls, text messages, and mailing appointments as ways to remind the patients of their appointment. Miller and team conducted a retrospective chart review to determine the causes of repeated missed appointments. They included patients who did not show up for three or more appointments in the otolaryngology department in the Henry Ford Health System in Michigan between July 1, 2011 to June 30, 2012. The result indicated that 105 patients did not show up for three or more appointments within the year. A more comprehensive analysis revealed that young age, race, specifically being African descent, and lower income were, sp were significant factors for patients missing appointments. In addition, proximity to the appointment location and accessibility by bus also correlated with no-shows. Another study conducted by Odonkor and his team also tried to identify factors that are associated with no-shows to appointments. Specifically, they conducted a prospective longitudinal year-long study to identify these factors in an interventional pain clinic. They assessed 20 demographic, clinical, and environmental factors to see their association with no-show appointments for a total of 5,134 patients. What they found was that overall missed appointment rate was 24.6%. Specifically though, no-show rate was higher for individuals less than 65 years of age, individuals who were single, belonged to a minority ethnic background, and were scheduled on day with rain or snow. Based on the literature review, the most common reasons for no-shows are the patient forgot about the appointment, there was a miscommunication or a lack of communication, i.e. lack of reminder calls or emails or messages, transportation issues for the patient, personal or work-related issues such as finding a childcare or, or babysitting or um, being able to take time off work. Now that we have learned about some of the factors that may lead to patient no-shows, we will be proceeding and talking about our PDSA Plan, Do, Study, Act cycle. The objective of our PDSA cycle was to determine the factors contributing to patient no-shows in the WellFork clinic with the hopes that our results will help the staff to alleviate the number of patient no-shows and to enhance clinic patient flow. For the plan stage, we had various questions such as, why are there patient no-shows and what can we do to reduce patient no-shows? 
To address these questions, we hypothesize that most no-shows are due to miscommunications and more specifically forgetting appointments, as this reason was a common thread that we found in many of the researches done previously. For the second step, the do stage, we collaborated with the clinic staff to come up with how to efficiently run the tests on a small scale. The reception team focused on appointments for a single day where they called the patients a day before their appointment and emailed those who already had their emails on file. Then the number of patients who showed up and those who did not show to their appointment for that single day were recorded. Now, moving on to the study step. Overall, out of the 19 appointments booked for that day, 18 patients showed and there was only one no-show. But because of the nature of the clinic, where many patients book appointments either one day prior or the day of their appointment, we must turn our attention to only the pre-booked appointments of more than one day prior to the actual appointment as our PDSA focused on finding the reasons behind no-shows for already booked appointments. Now, having said all that, out of the 19 appointments, 6 were pre-booked, and out of these 6, 4 had phone calls made and confirmed their appointments, and the remaining 2 had emails on file where the reception team emailed them as, the remi as a reminder for their appointments. Notably, both these patients with the emails on file did indeed show up to their appointments. To put in another way, for all the pre-booked appointments, there were zero no-shows, and to break it down, if phone call confirmations were made, 100% showed up, and similarly, if reminder emails were sent, again, 100% showed up to their appointments. Overall, these findings confirm our prediction of the importance of reminders and how combining phone calls with emails can potentially reduce no-shows. For the final step of the PDSA, which is the ACT stage, we suggest to 1. Collect emails from newly admitted patients and previous patients, and 2. For appointments pre-booked, combine phone call reminders one day prior to the appointment alongside email reminders. Besides this, we would also highly recommend the clinic to perform our design questionnaire to better understand the underlying reasons for patient no-shows. In this questionnaire, we have added possible reasonings behind um, no-shows based on the various studies that we studied. And lastly, in terms of future directions, it might be helpful to consider purchasing a system that enables automated reminders. Another possible way is rewarding patients who show up to their appointment in a timely fashion by having regular draws to win prizes. This can create a sense of positive reinforcement and potentially motivate patients to attend their booked appointments. Thank you for listening to our presentation. We would also like to thank the directors of the Practical Experience and the staff at Wellfort Clinic for their ongoing support throughout this project, and also the University of Toronto Institute for Healthcare Improvement for giving us the opportunity to participate in this project.